Some of you are so down bad. You are saying that the ghost waifu we saved yesterday. Watch me calling her waifu. She looked pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, when she doesn't have the blood just coming out of her eyes at the final form where she looked like a proper person. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, she looked great. Now it looks like we're getting an army of strong spirits. So we can fight. Who is it? The god first. Now, are we done yet? I think we have to still go to other places to collect more. Let's begin today's reaction. Hmm. Oh, it's the hand. The Skuna's arm that we took from the castle. Mm -hmm. Yo, Eiko's looking kind of super stuck there for a second. Did you see the table angle there? No, 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 no. Them puppies were sitting. Eiko's actually coming with us this time, though. Hmm? Yo, were you terrified? Let me know how terrified you were so I can get more horny off of it. But he loves this shit. He's a freak. He loves this shit. Oh, a rough night. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at her, dude. <laughs> These Eiko moments are some of the best moments in this show. Mm. What's subconsciously, he loves it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> She's a demon, dude. <laughs> She's an absolute demon. <laughs> yeah, you freak. It's not to save me, is it? I know you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, this has been hinted in the previous episodes. Earlier on the season, there was, like, a Eiko specific who said it that, you know, K loves this. And then it's been kind of subtly forgotten. But I'm still waiting for a moment where K himself admits it and embr embraces it. Oh, my God. Yo, what the fuck? This is getting kinky. Okay. As long as we have a Yandere girlfriend with us. Yo, I don't think she wants the curse to be broken, though. Maybe accepting it will awaken K and he'll become like a true Giga Chad main character. Yo, moments like this is why Eiko is some of the best. Like, the Eiko might be the best character in this show. Oh my god. How long has it been since we had a Yandere Eiko moment? Oh my god. Her smile is so terrifying. There's no teeth. <laughs> Look at it. We need more of those moments, man. Whoa, this is the castle. Who's talking? Talking. Who is this? Wait. New antagonist. Oh, it's the granny. He's surrounding the granny? Oh my. Oh my god. Uh, and there's a dude in the wheelchair over there. Maybe this is like the true enemy faction? Wait. He made her do this. Who are you? Can... Yo? Dude. This new arc, you know, this new saga of versus the god arc, collecting all these new great spirits is really cool. But like, now we're getting introduced even more antagonist? What? Okay, first of all, she was under the fucking water. Of course you couldn't hear her, but... You're... <laughs> the relic. The hand? The skin arm? Our mission? What is, what is, what is this faction? National Network of Crooked Clergy? Bring forth the spirit to do what? This is getting more hype. Again, like the we're getting serious arcs, more people are coming in, new villains. Oh my god. All powerful spirit. This looks like a fucking sperm, dude. See, oh, wait, mom! Wait, wait, this is, I, I forgot the specific terminology that they call it, but... Dude, these look like the sperms, doesn't it? This is the Spectre, I think? That, that's that's what Eiko was calling it. I'm not sure if this is, is the Spectre, but doesn't it look like it? That was more funny than scary, but... Yeah, isn't this the Spectre? <laughs> what? Strangle the baby? What? And it's back to calm mode. 
Gucci, Gucci little baby. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The seed of the moonless dawn. The specter, yes. And Kishimojin. Who? What's Kishimojin? This is Kishimojin? Clash between two spirits, Kishimojin and the specter? What the fuck? Mom. Mom? Probably? Kishimojin and the specter. Okay, I. Okay. There's some clash between them, but it was avoided. Oh, okay. It's time to boot up our family van. Let's -a go. Oh. Uh, Eiko's wearing a, a ponytail today. Why are you excited for this? She loves the spooky shit, yeah. Let's -a go. It's been a while. It's been a while, right? Ooh. Ooh. We need more. Just for this tunnel, we need more? The high priest chanting was pretty funny when the other like bugs started chanting too. It's a good spirit? What? what? Dangerous, non-evil spirit. Okay. Maybe it's a waifu. Oh. A war veteran? Wait, what's up with some cracked samurai? Mm. So it's not even though it's, it's not the it's not the general, it's the people that he killed. I gotta be careful. <laughs> what? Can we use the soldiers to our advantage too? Maybe we can use the soldiers that's gonna leak out to our advantage. I don't know how, but doesn't it sound like an extra army we can have? We're just bringing some water. <laughs> we just wait. We feed it water, and then they're just happy. <laughs> Give them some food. <laughs> like all we need is water. Imagine if we gave it holy water, or like sake. Something is like biting. I can hear biting noises. Eating noises? Uh, is that you? I thought it was like a little fox doll based on the... But she was explaining, what the fuck is this? Where did the crunchy soyces come from? Is it from inside maybe? They are looking at us. Through what? There's a TV there too. Footsteps. Uh, where's the power source? Huh? A soldier. War. That's the sol- that's that, that- that's their- uh, that's our graduate, right? And then these are the soldiers that's like eating away at him? Give it water. Give it water. Sprinkle some water at him. It's not too scary. It's just soldiers. Oh, oh, look at that Eiko. Oh my god, Eiko. Hello. Okay, again, just just sprinkle some water at them, it's, then they should be fine, right? You thirsty? Feed it! Oh, the TV's actually helping us then. Water. Get the water out. Water bottle. So what happens if they go in, and then what? What? what what's it gonna do? Huh? Hot? Drink some water, bro. Drink some water, bro. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, war flashback. I kind of wanted the... I, I wasn't aware of when, what time period this war was. I wanted to be back in the old, old time so that it would be like a samurai general we could get. It's so hot. Got some English going on here, guys. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> Damn. You gotta kill them all too, bro? I can't relate. I got plenty of water here. Yeah, you like all that water? Mm, 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 mm. Water. Water. Why? He drank all the water. Are they not satisfied? Maybe the whole point was to waste the water? 
Yeah, but he's still thirsty? Yeah, I thought that maybe if we drink water and he's like haunting us, then they were like... If we have water on us, they should leave us alone. But what if we drink it? I don't think it worked. Oh. Oh! Is he biting from inside? What? What is it doing? What the fuck is that? Ah! If that doll wasn't there, I think Kate's stomach would have just popped open. Bite marks. Yeah. They're from within trying to bite outwards so they can drink. Oh! Yo, ah! How many life do we have? We just stitched that alien doll together too. Okay, salt splash. Okay, the TV light is on. <laughs> this is reminding me of FNAF. Turning the fucking light on for the cameras and shit in the blind spots. Eiko, do something. Eiko, do something. Stop just standing there and be hot. Come on, do something. Mm. True. Oh, Eiko's moving. Eiko hasn't really done much in terms of like, I don't know, action fighting these spirits yet, right? Let's see what she got. Oh, look at it. It's the cute little fox doll. Okay, drop the water for bait. Yo, Eiko is running. <laughs> this is the most action Eiko's gotten though. Okay, just throw it. The extra seal, right? Uh-huh. Double seal. Don't fuck this up. Now what? Now we just use it somehow? Like what? Oh, oh, we just mitigate the power because his source of the power is obviously creating the soldiers too. Okay. And the bite marks are kind of gone too. That wasn't too bad. You know, we almost got eight out inside, but it's okay. I'm kind of glad that Eiko actually got involved in the action. Although, I mean, what did she do? She ran towards it. She threw the water for bait, ran around it, and threw it. I mean, she did good. She did good. I want her to, like, get the Yandere knife out, though, and start fighting with the knife. Uh-oh, Eiko's alone. Oh! Wait. Something's haunting her? No, was that just her imagination or something actually haunting her? No, no, no. Maybe something happened during that time that she was... Yeah, did something like that happen, maybe? I don't think so. I didn't see it, at least. She's excited. <laughs> Dude, she gets off on this. Smell what? Death? What? Oh my god, dude. This girl bad. This fucking girl is terrifying. Alright, we still even didn't go to the tunnel yet, right? We were... Let's a ghost. The whole point of that was to collect something so we could go to the tunnel. Jesus. Alright, the real shit should be happening next week. Cliffhanger coming soon. Oh, menacing tunnel. How scary could it be? Not that scary. The new graduate doll is pretty cool, but I think the highlight of this episode was all Eiko. This was an Eiko episode, man, from the intro with their little bit of Yandere teasing, telling Kay, you degenerate freak. You like being scared, don't you? Mm, tell me you like it. And give him the ASMR, bro. Oh my God. And then her in action, running around. And the and at the end, did she actually did, uh, get possessed there? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just her imagination. Maybe she's just thrilled at the thought of getting closer to death. I could almost smell it, right? Jesus Christ, this girl is so horny for death, but that's why we love Rayandere Eiko. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.